Good evening, Demon Phil Comics in Moore, New Jersey, bringing you another book review. And this one, well, it had to happen. Uh, you see the name that's on here, and the name of the book, Demons in the Dark, by David Doob. I hope I got that name, last name right on there. And uh, illustrated by Dominic Rancho, lettered by Daniel Chan. If I am butchering names, please let me know, y'all. All right, first off, as far as receiving the book, the whole reason that I got this book, actually, is there was a post on Facebook, and it was based around a contest. Uh, I will tell you right now that I am not going to go ahead and enter into this contest. I want everyone else to go ahead and do this. I enjoy doing the reviews, to do the reviews, to get the information out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there right now. But it caught my eye because basically it said free comic. Well, you know what? I'm all about the free. I know most everyone is as well. So what's it going to hurt to go ahead and look into it? So I look into it, go to the website, find out to get the free comic and everything. So we'll call this my submission for this, but I'm okay with the contest. We can give that to someone else who actually deserves it. I've got the book. I'm happy. I'm good. And I am happy with it. So the first thing I always like to go over is the packaging on how it's received. Uh, they went ahead and they sent it. It was sent very well, sent very secure in there. Uh, the book came in an uh, envelope with uh, some cardboard around it and all to go ahead and keep it in place, make sure nothing was bent or moved around or anything. Even though this is you know, strictly for my review, it's still one of those that, you know, it's a comic. You don't want to get it messed up. So. I open it up. The first thing I notice is there's a sticker that falls out of the back of it. There's like a uh, plastic cellophane holding everything together. So whenever I cut it open, I didn't realize the back had stuff on there. My apologies. I'll be looking for that now. There's the sticker. The reason that the sticker got my attention is this right here. Valor printing. Now, I don't know that much about it. What I do know is that it says veteran owned. I don't know about a lot about you, you know, about y'all, but uh, I am not. I, I did not go into the military. I am not a veteran. Uh, my father was. My grandparents, both sides were, and many other family members and so many friends, uh, both past and present. Uh, so it means a lot for that kind of thing right there. They have quite a bit of services that they do as well. And I will give you their information on how to reach them whenever we're done with the review. But it's definitely something you want to look into as well. So I'll go over that whenever we're done. Now, into the meat of the thing, the book. Demons in the Dark. Sorry. It's one of those things that kind of goes along with the name. So, first off, not a kid's book. Just going to go ahead and throw that right out there. Uh... I'm going to go ahead and keep this PG so that we can go ahead and put it on Facebook and everything. But uh, there's some language that's involved in there. Uh, it didn't make me blush for some reason. Uh, but the uh, th there's definitely some violence. But the language, I think, would be the biggest thing that would go ahead and take it out of that class. Uh, no nudity. Uh, no sex. Uh, everything else is as good in there. It's just it takes it to that next level. One thing that I've learned being in the industry and being able to peek behind the curtain and start dealing directly with some artists and learn some things is that I'm really enjoying black and white. Uh, and I say that because watching somebody from pencils to inks to colors is gorgeous. It is. Don't get me wrong. Whenever they get to the ink part, for some reason, it just speaks to me. Uh, more 3D effect to the to the uh, page that they're doing, or if they're really trying to get a uh, action sequence on there, a little bit more coming out at you, the black and white speaks more to me at most in most cases. Well, this is a psychological horror action adventure book. I guess we'll classify it as that. I just did, so I think we'll keep that way. So it's a black and white book. Let me make sure I can show this to you because I don't want anything showing up on the screen that I can't take off. And so far, I'm not finding anything. <laughs> okay, just real quick. 
just so you can see. If you saw anything you weren't supposed to, cover your eyes. It is a beautifully done book. It really is. The cover, that really got my attention too. I knew nothing about this book going in. Just the name, I knew I had to go ahead and review this. So the cover is decent material on the outside. Um, not as thick as I sometimes like that to be on there. But, I mean, it works for what it is. And whenever you open it up, the best part is, is they do what they're supposed to. Whenever you're look, reading a horror book, you want to see some black interior. And that's exactly what the first as soon as you open it up, looks like right there. And then you go into the storyline, the pages and all. The pages are pretty much the exact same as the uh, as the covers. And I think that's kind of the reason that I'm finding the main difference on there with uh, the way the cover feels. It's not a bad thing. It's just one of those things that the cover kind of stands out a little bit more with the outside that way. And if that's the worst thing I can find out on this book, then that's actually not doing too bad at all. So the book starts off with a bang. I'm just going to put it that way. There is a fight in a school, and these are, they never specify on this, but I would imagine teenagers, uh, late teenagers at that, probably uh, junior, senior, something like that. They're the misfits. They're the ones who don't get asked to parties and don't get asked to go out on dates and don't drive the cool cars or cars at all or anything like that. So what else are you going to do besides that? Well, how about some Dungeons and Dragons style? Why not? Most of us did that when we were growing up. Except whenever they do it, something happens. Uh... I can give you this much without giving the the whole twist and everything and uh, doing any kind of spoilers on here. Because they're so shunned from everything and they're so upset with all that's going on, they have a lot of anger. A lot, a lot of repressed anger. And they don't want to give that up. So they take it out on the game. So whenever they get into a game, what do they do? They start killing off secondary characters. You're not really supposed to do that in a Dungeons & Dragons game because, you know, the Game Master gets a little upset about that and the game is shortened by, you know, a lot and no one else is having fun. Well, what if you were so repressed and so angry and something was upsetting you that much that whatever was upsetting you that much manifested itself into a form that started killing in the real world to go ahead and take care of those who have been messing with you. Let's give it a moment to let that settle in for just a moment, because as human beings, how many times have we looked at it and gone, I'm sick and tired of this place. I wish everybody would die here. Do we say it out loud? No, we really don't. Not that much. And if we do, then, well, I'm hoping I'm not part of that group that you're wanting to be in the deceased. But we do get angry, and we, we pull that trigger pretty quick. So what happens whenever your anger manifests itself into something that can't be stopped unless you give it up, unless you work on trying to fix things. What if you can't? What if there's too much anger? What if there was more anger than you thought there was? This book actually delves a lot deeper than just into playing Dungeons and Dragons and dealing with action sequences. It's actually dealing with the aspect of being bullied. And I've got to say, I really like this book. Uh, my interpretation is that, uh, you know, if you're bullied and everything, you have a lot of repressed anger, you have a lot going on. Uh, you never know who you're going to bully that's going to 
have some bad feelings that may not ever go away. Will they manifest? Probably not. Will they manifest within the person? That is possible. So maybe this book is a first step into changing some things. Like I said, it's not a kid's book by any means. Not at all. But maybe, maybe, whenever you're in school as an adult and and, uh, back in the day, whenever you're back in school, and you may have said some things or done something to some kids and hurt them pretty badly, and you never said anything to them, you never did anything to make up for it, you just went on with life because life moves on. What if life didn't move on for them? What if things kind of changed a little bit? I'm not saying you go back and make amends that away, but uh, maybe you just need to look in the mirror and say, I did it, I apologize, and I won't do it again. And I'll make sure that if you have kids especially, make sure your kids don't do it as well. That's just a thought. But as far as the book, I am more than happy that I own this. And uh, definitely looking forward to more from their group that has all their books coming out. So again, just my opinion on this, doing my reviews, but uh, I think it touched on a lot more than people were imagining it would. I would like to see more of them. Now, how to get a hold of Dollar Printing LLC. So we are, again, veteran-owned. They deal in business cards, labels, books, magazines, trifolds, flyers, photograph prints, posters, mailers, all kinds of print and marketing needs on here. Vinyl, banners, decals, stickers, signs, canvas, magnets, windows graphics, vehicle graphics, removable wall decals, custom apparel, including embroidery patches, spangles, heat transfer, vinyl, and more. So they have a lot that they have to offer uh, as far as the printing is available. So if you have printing needs, might be something you want to look into, veteran owned. Just going to throw that out there again. You can reach them, ValorPrintingLLC.com, and you can email them, ValorPrintingLLC at gmail.com. It's a lot better whenever you make it easy like that to find stuff. I enjoyed the book very much. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you're looking forward to more because I've got a lot more that I need to catch up on. And I am definitely looking forward to what uh, David and the rest of the crew can go ahead and produce after this. And maybe they'll send me some more. and Maybe I can do some more reviews. Y'all have to let me know. Demonfield Comics from New Jersey. Going to go ahead and sign off. Keep it in the y'all.